Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today's play is in an art journal and I'm using up leftover paint to start that page. And along the way, I'm thinking I'm just playing, but the muse has something else in store for me because something that happened at the very end of this page is not something that usually happens to me when I art journal. And it turned out it was just what I needed today. Well, I have a tendency to squirt out way too much paint for whatever project I'm using. And I used to think that was really a bad thing, but truth be told, I think it's fantastic because it allows me to create backgrounds like this. I've got all that paint there that is going to completely go to waste if I don't use it because it's going to dry up. There's a lot of freedom in that, and I'm just going to smear it around with the goal of using up all of the paint. Now for the next layer of color, I'm going to bring in gelatos. Now I haven't given this paint any time at all to dry, so that means I'm putting gelatos on some wet paint, and that means they don't always behave predictably. Now I am going to get some wet paint onto those gelatos, and if that bothers me, I'm just going to wipe them off with a baby wipe, but between you and I, I rarely ever do that. If there's paint on them, it'll just come off the next time I use the gelatos. The only time I really seem to clean off one of those is if I'm using white and I have a whole bunch of color on it, kind of like what I picked up here with all the purples. For the next layer, I want to put some stamped images on there, and I really like stamping with paint. So I'll use the 3x5 gel press plate to act like my ink pad, so I've got a nice smooth bit of paint there so it's easy to pick up with the stamp, and then I am just going to put this stamp in different places. My original thought was I'd do it in one or two places, but I really kind of enjoyed it so much that I kept just putting it in more and more places. Now, I don't want to waste any of that color, so what I'm doing is using whatever paper I've got around to grab up the prints or paint off of that gel press plate. And sometimes the most unexpected things become quite handy when it comes to building an art journal page. Like that piece of paper that I just was using for cleaning up, that's going to get glued right in here onto my page. Now I had such fun using that darkroom door stamp before, I grabbed another one and I'm going to do the exact same technique, except this time using white paint. Now I have supplies and links to everything that I'm using and the specific names over on the blog at acolorfuljourney.com, so if you'd like any of that information, head on over there. And just like with the last stamp where I thought I'd just put it in one or two places, this one I was having such fun putting it on, I kept adding it to more and more places around the page. Now it was all fun and games here, making a background until this point when I grabbed a stencil. Now this one's called Going Global and it's from over at Stencil Girl Products and I'm just stenciling it in with black acrylic paint and a cosmetic sponge. And I really didn't know exactly where this was going to go. I just trusted that this stencil was calling to me and that I should put it on the page. Now I didn't know it while I was putting the paint on here how important this stencil was going to be for the story or the meaning that was going to develop a little bit later. Now another stencil that was calling to me was my wall of words stencil. This has all sorts of phrases and words on it and whatever jumps out at me those tend to be the words that I need to hear in the moment. So it's almost like an oracle for stenciling. Now the words that jumped out at me is perspective is everything. So in order to stencil just those words, I'm going to use the very handy dandy post-it notes to basically mask off the words that I don't want to stencil. And after I stencil one word, just move them over and stencil the rest of it. Now at this point I realize my muse is conspiring to send me a message today because I found this photo in my box of old photos. It was actually the very first photo that I saw of this wonderful looking couple who clearly have been together for years and years. And all of a sudden I begin to see a story with them. A friend of mine, Glenda Miles, loves to call these adopted ancestors and these two have definitely got something they want to teach me. So these two have seen the world, they've traveled, they've experienced so many things, and they have a perspective on things that comes from seeing the world, from living all those years, and that perspective is the little stuff really is the little stuff, and you don't need to worry about it. 
So as I was gluing the photo down with the gel medium, I started thinking about those things that are creating stress for me now, the things that I worry about. I worry about my family. I worry about the future. I worry, you know, all those things that I worry about. And I decided to just art journal them out here by scribble journaling them all over the continents of the world. And I realized I needed just a little bit more here because my head knew that logically these weren't things to worry about, but my heart hadn't quite caught up to that yet. So I decided to take a cue from that wonderful couple and write a note to myself as if I was the 85 year old talking back to me right now. Now this totally took me by surprise by how deeply this thing hit me because as I was writing this out, there were tears forming in my eyes and that's not a usual thing that happens for me when I'm art journaling. But as I was doing this, absolute, complete and total tears just running down my face. I guess I've been worrying a lot more than I realized and it felt so good to just get it out, to release it, to let it loose onto that art journal page. So I wonder if the person, when they took this photo of this couple, realized what an impact they would be having on my day as this photo has traveled from who knows where and ended up in my stash. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new video out. And of course, you can find more of my play over on the blog at acolorfuljourney.com. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.